Welcome to the second video on how Transport Fever 2 can be used as a model railway simulator. In this episode we'll have a look how we can use an image as a background, an underlay, to lay our track over it with high precision. This is where we left off in the previous video, our first oval. And this is the goal to at least lay the track for our demo layout. And that layout looks like this. And actually it is so simple that we could easily lay that track by hand. But suppose that you are a Merklin fan and you want to recreate one of the layouts out of their book. Or you like the Peace River layout and like to simulate that then it becomes uh, yeah, nice to have this picture as an underlay on the transport fever terrain glued on it and then we can lay the track on top of that image uh, like is shown over here and this way uh, yeah, we would be able to work very accurate. The mod that makes this all possible is called the one kilometer terrain map brush. Uh, I opened here the Transport Fever 2 workshop, typed in one kilometer in the search field and then it is shown as the first entry. And uh, we simply have to click on it and then here uh, click that subscribe button and then all the downloading and installing in Transport Fever goes fully automatic. And while we're at it, uh, there's another app that comes in very handy which is called the Better Terrain Brushes. If you type in brushes in the search field, you will find it. And that one, uh, yeah, subscribe to it also. It makes it possible to have larger brushes and also a couple of different types than the standard. Um, and then, yeah, of course, we have to install these uh, mods in our file. Uh, I left off uh, with a save of that first video, YouTube 01, and I want to load that uh, in the game. And then here, select options, and if you do that, uh, it shows a list of all the mods that you have. And then, uh, yeah, you can do a search here. I know that the word brush was in both of them. Uh, so yeah, then enable both of those mods and then we are all set to go. Click OK and it should work. And finally there's one more preparation to do. Download and install GIMP. It's a free image editor and we need it because the file that we are going to need is a DDS file. And GIMP is one of the free programs that can handle these files. Start up GIMP and in the file menu select open and then click through all the folders to find eventually uh, this one here, the maps folder of this one kilometer terrain brush. And inside there are 16 maps for us to use. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you choose, just choose one that you have not yet in use. Let's say A1 and open it and that gives us, uh, oh, I have to say OK, yes, let's do that. That gives us a map that was already in there. Yeah, you can also use Google Maps or OpenStreetMaps to create a part of the real world in your sim, if you like. What we want to do is to have our little oval over here. These maps are one kilometer and the size in pixels is 4096. We need that later for the scaling. Now also open our oval map. Here it is. So I now have two files open. The map file that I want to edit and the oval that I want to have inside that map file. But first we need to scale it. Uh, what we figured out in the first video is that you have a look at your minimum curve. Well, in this case, that's this one or that one. They are the same size. Uh, 
that minimum curve was one meter here in the HO file and we know from video one it translates to 150 meters. So now we go back to our square kilometer map file and we know this is 4096 pixels. So we do a little math. 150 meters turns out to be on this scale 606 pixels. Which means now that I have to scale this image to, uh, yeah, to look like 606 pixels between this track over here and this track over there. And luckily here at the bottom we can read out the uh, pixels. Uh, so this is 320 more or less and this is 986. A little myth and then I know the uh, factor to scale this image. Let's do this together because this is a quite the important step. So I read out the position of this track 986. Uh, I put it in the calculator 986. The top track, the middle one is 320 uh, minus 320 is 666 that has to become 606 so let me inverse this where is it uh, yeah one divided by x and then times 606 that is the shrinking factor that i need for this image so let's scale this image uh, let's see over here image scale uh, the size is 2133. So if I multiply this with 2133, I get the number I have to fill in over here. 1941. 1941. So I'm shrinking the image because it was a little bit too big scale. And this is the new image. So this curve should now be 606 pixels because we scaled this image. Let's try it out. Over here my readout is 896 and over here it is 219. Well the difference is 606 pixels. Oh, well, that, that we did a perfectly good job. What we need to do now is flip the image vertically because for some reason the transport uh, fever to reach the image is upside down. So let's go to transform flip vertically. There we have it. Now select all, control A, then copy, control C, go to the map image and then paste, control V. There we have it. All we need to do now is move it to the top left and uh, that's easier uh, for finding it back. And there we are. Uh, now I have to do, yeah, that is something about GIMP or can I just click here? Yeah, when I click here it becomes one layer. Uh, yeah, that sometimes is a bit tricky with all the different uh, Photoshop programs that you have. They all behave a little bit different, but we have now one layer over here with the map. Uh, we can export it. File, uh, export as, and uh, I was using A1, wasn't I? Yes, I was. Export, and now, yeah, it already exists. We want to replace it. What we have to do is select the top uh, compression uh, bc1 dxt1 and also we have to select to generate mip maps and then click export and it will generate this new map for us i think we are done we can close gimp let's not click continue but let's click load game uh, then uh, we can have a look at these options that we need to select we had is one kilometer oh I, I it was easiest to type in brush over here yeah the one kilometer mod and the new terrain brushes mod i want them both so let's click ok 
OK and then uh, start and it will load. Here we have the oval of video one. Probably it's in totally the uh, not correct position because we are now first going to paint uh, the terrain that we made. Uh, let's open the terrain uh, landscaping uh, icon and then the paint tools. We should be able to find the map that we created. Yeah, there it is. And yeah, we start painting. Well, the best thing is we uh, uh, also included that new brush, which makes the brush size a lot larger. Uh, let's start painting and see where our map is. It should be at the bottom uh, of bottom left of uh, the, the one kilometer map. Well, there it is, a bit close to that industry, but we can get rid of that industry and also uh, we can get rid of the access uh, map that I don't need. We just make that nice green that looks better. Okay, that's, uh, that's nice. Uh, and now the proof of the pudding is if we start to lay track, will it be correct uh, that our curve is a speed of 50? Let's try it out. Uh, let, uh, oh, let me zoom in a little bit on this area. Uh, the 150 scale that we used is almost twice the scale of 187, which is HO. So these tracks, they are adjacent to each other, but we will see that actually uh, there's uh, a lot of room between them if I would lay them like they are drawn here uh, there can be one track even in between look where the blue dot automatically snaps that is to have a parallel track so let's make that parallel track and forget about that space uh, if you really like that space that's of course very fine too uh, well, the, the moment of truth is almost there. We are going to extend this middle track to, let's say, over here, where we start the curve. Uh, and yeah, let's start the curve and see if we get a curve of 50, speed 50. Uh, well, isn't that beautiful? That is exactly what we wanted. So we scaled the image perfectly right. All we have to do now is follow the lines. Well, uh, this is of course uh, nice to start the turnout in the curve already and then move it simply over there. And uh, this we can extend a little bit up to, yeah, up to where, up to somewhere like there. And then hope that we can make a nice turnout with not too much speed loss and that looks perfectly good if we look from this side how is this going to drive well this is going to drive perfectly smooth um, well i think we did a very very good job all we need to do now is lay all the track over this um, uh, underlay drawing and that's easy peasy uh, the next video, uh, there's a new challenge, that is to have a station over here, because in Transport VFR2, trains can only stop at a station. So we need one over here, and we need another one over there. Let's uh, see how that can be done, and in the meantime, have fun.